السلام عليكم ورحمة الله MATLAB course lecture number three just to remind you this lecture uh, we talked about how we can write uh, if statement switch statement uh, and also how we can write the while loop for loop and this is the solution for classwork or exercise number three in this question write a program to ask user about his choice and use the switch case statement to perform the needed calculation and print the result. The program should be an infinite loop that means run to continue continuously and you should use minus one to stop it. Keep this one to the end. At the end of the solution I will make it infinite loop and uh, use minus one to stop the program. Now I will work on the solution without making it uh, run continuously. The choices are factorial of a given number, two, minimum of n numbers, three, average of n numbers, x, four, x to the power n, five, default case for invalid choice. And here is the one of the flowcharts that can be used to solve the problem. Now I will open a new script file, sorry that this is live script file, new script file, uh, as I told you, CLC at the beginning, clear, close, all, CLC to clear the uh, comma window, clear to clear the workspace, remove all variables from the workspace, so to start a new one, and close all to close all figures, previous figures. Uh, in such questions like this question you have many things to do and maybe you will feel at the beginning uh, when you read the question that you don't know how to do it my advice to you all don't try to solve it uh, completely in, in, in uh, one step so don't think about the total question all questions think about the question by part say that part number one or before that uh, write a program to ask user about his choice. That's it. Forget, forget everything now. Just focus on how to ask user to uh, let him enter his choice. So uh, to ask user uh, to uh, enter his choice, we have to use, uh, say that a variable to, to hold his choice. Say that the choice is uh, choice. Choice equal we have to use the input function, input build in function. It is a function used to uh, display a message for the user and scan user input, scan the keyboard entry. So input, what will be the message? You can say that, uh, please select, okay, then go to next line, okay? Uh, say that uh, I want to tell him that uh, one space one one to do what to find factorial find factorial or uh, one for factorial for factorial of a given number of a given number then go to the next line forget that the uh, the message now just uh, like this and semicolon uh, we don't want to see the result on the command window now run the program again my advice to you run step by step run the program name it as example lecture number three exercise number three dot m okay now as you see Please select one for factorial of a given number. I will select one. Yes, I know there are many options there, but I will do them step by step. Okay, done. This code is running well. As you see here, we have in the workspace a choice variable. Double click on the choice. We have uh, one value inside the choice, which is integer or anything, double, anything. Okay, it's double here. Okay. Next step. What if he entered one? I want to do the following. So according to the choice, we can use if or or switch, but the, the program or the question says that please use switch case statement. So switch, switch, 
I will switch on the value of which variable choice so it depends on the choice value and this is the end of the switch now case the value of a switch equal to 1 equal equal to 1 what I should do case the ch value equal to what should I do case switch value equal 3 what should I do now I will ignore this I will do it case by case so case the choice value equal equal to 1 you want to ask user to enter a, a integer so again we can we can use the input please please enter a number so control please say that this number is n n equal input please enter any <coughs> integer then go and this one then semicolon I don't want to see this this uh, value in the command window then if I have if I have the value of n we want to print so we can print f print f as example f print f is a function used to print a message we want to print uh, say that uh, the factorial of this number which is integer say that equal to this value this value then go to next line what this value outside the quotation this value it is the value of what we have a built-in function called factorial factorial okay factorial of what of n yes I can say that I can write uh, result equal factorial of n and bring the result here but no need just call the factorial function here for the value of n that's it now let me run the program check the result please select one for factorial of a given number say that this is one please enter any integer say that five the factorial of five equal 120 I forgot something here let me go back to the print a function yes we forgot to print the number itself so before the factorial we have to write n run the program again because the first value will be printed here second one will be printed here so as you see select one please enter any integer this is five the factor of five equal 120 I think it will be good it will be good to make uh, a clear and user-friendly uh, program so the message should be clear uh, one once the uh, the user select one we can say the following you can print this message I will use this function again uh, we can say that you selected you selected to uh, print the factorial the factorial of a given for a given number four factorial for a given integer then go to next line like this then close the quotation and the brackets like this as you see uh, you selected to print the factorial for a given integer now please enter any integer now let me show you the, the difference now uh, run the program again this is one for factorial you selected to print the factorial for a given number please enter any integer say 5 the factor of 5 is 120 now next point now I have to focus on the second one forget everything now second one it says that find minimum of n numbers so let me start from the message here in line number four we can add a message okay here space two to to find minimum uh, to uh, for minimum for uh, say that minimum of uh, n numbers and then go to next line like the previous one then uh, we can uh, say that we can uh, copy this this case or or any just write uh, a new case like this uh, case the value of choice equal equal to two what should I do we want to find minimum of n numbers we have to ask user about 
how many these numbers or or ask him to enter the numbers as a vector it's up to you but if you want to ask the user to enter the in how many uh, number of numbers and then you can use for loop to enter one a number by number but this will waste your time uh, surely in C programming yes we don't have another method we have to run ask user how many these numbers then run a loop from 1 to n and then each time ask uh, give me the first number second number third number and save them in array but in MATLAB we have a better choice we have a better option here just write a message uh, say that again let me let me copy this copy all of this message Control C Control V like this now the message uh, we can print the message you selected to print or to find to print the minimum minimum of of n numbers of n numbers of n numbers okay now n equal we can ask user we can ask user about the uh, the end then write write a for loop but I will do the following I will say that numbers as example numbers equal input please enter enter all numbers in one or as a one vector as a one vector this is better okay and you can uh, show him a message as example example uh, x example say that like this uh, one four three two like this uh, I have a problem in the keyboard say that like this okay example just show example if you wish then print the minimum the minimum the minimum of n numbers n numbers equal this value say that uh, we don't know the numbers they are float or integer say that float okay and just print uh, call the function the function name is minimum minimum of n remember that the minimum uh, it will return two values but in our case here it will return just one value if you want to, to know the minimum and which one it is so you want to print the index of that one you have to create a vector a and b equal minimum of n but anyway it's good run the program now see option number two you selected to print the minimum of n numbers please enter all numbers as one vector as a one vector sorry okay example one two three let me change the message as a one vector okay now uh, say that see I will say that I want uh, this this uh, these are the numbers minus seven eight uh, sixty five minus and so on these are my numbers enter see undefined function of variable n where is it where is this n undefined function of variable n oh I wrote minimum of n and in, in the line number 13 it should be numbers minimum of numbers run the program again this is 2 and we can go back like this using the arrowhead then say yes so the minimum of n numbers equal to 98 minus 90 uh, 89 point something if you want to uh, minimize number of decimal places after dot uh, we can go to here say that we need just dot dot two as example so the second part is done now the third part average of n numbers same so we have to to update the message update the message say that um, I will copy this one control C I will go to here control V can I split this one in uh, more than one message yes if you want to do that what should I do please select keep this one like this okay please select like this okay if you don't like to see it in one line then we let, let me uh, cut this one let me cut this one I will show you cut this one and after after this one or before before the switch before the switch we can write this this display it can display a value of a variable or a value or a text it's up to you so control V here display one for factor of a given number no need for backslash n because uh, display it's by default it will skip one line 
and I will do the same thing for the next one. Next one it is uh, 2, so remove this one, no need for it. 2 for n uh, minimum of n numbers, okay. And then, okay, I will display it here also. Disp, display this text, which is 2. I think this is better than the previous one because it would be very long line. Okay, like this. And next one, uh, minimum in numbers, no need for this one. Cut and remove these. Okay, and here, this also, display. Uh, this is the message. The message, uh, please enter three. Three for, uh, for uh, say that, average, average of n numbers. This should be three, not two. Okay, and so it should be go back like this. Okay, now case equal to one, case equal to two. Let me copy the case because same, same manner, control C, control V like this. Okay, uh, now this is option number three, sorry, not option three, choice equal equal to three. Print, you selected to print the average of n numbers. So say that numbers, can I use the same variable? Yes. Input, please enter uh, all numbers as a one vector example, show the same example. The average, the average of n numbers equal, but call the function mean, mean of these numbers. Mean, it's a function that calculate the mean. Remember that numbers, it's a vector. So the return from the mean will be one value. Run the program to show the result. See, please select, oh, okay. And instead of that, and instead of that, what I, what I should do, because please select and the message will not uh, appear now. So control C, what I will do, I will change this one. Uh, I will uh, see, I will, Cut this one and keep it after this, okay? After this, just display this message first, okay? Uh, and we can uh, say that uh, this message also, we can display it before, like this, okay? I will show you, Control V and right here, desp, desp or printf, it's up to you. You can use printf also, f printf function. Display, please select, no need to go to next line. Please select, say like this, one for factorial, two, three, and then remove, just remove this one. No need, no need. And you can use like this. Choice equal input because you will enter something. Okay, uh, and this semicolon here, I don't want to see the result. Run the program again, error using no enough input arguments. We have to keep it like this, maybe. Run the program. Yes, it's okay. Please select, see, one for factorial two. This is three, the last one. You selected to print the average of n numbers. Uh, these are the numbers. Say that we have two, four, four, five, eight, nine. As example, enter. The average of n numbers equal to 5.6. Next step, next step, it says that x to the power n. That means we have to ask user for x and n. Again, we start here, display message. Again, copy this message, control C, control C. Okay, after this one, display four here, four, to find for x to the power of n. Say that uh, x to power of n. Uh, in the cases here, same thing, same thing. We have, let me, uh, copy the last case Okay, control C and here control V and align the case with the cases and case equal equal to 4 and Here uh, you selected to print the X say that X to power to power or we can say that X to the power of n like this better and Then we can say that uh, we need the n we need the x first, x, and we need the power also. So please enter a number. Please enter the x. And also copy this one, control C, control V. This is in small. Please enter the power. 
which is n. And now we can say that we can say that uh, x to the power of n equal to this number, okay? And here we can write write x to the power of n like this x to the power of n uh, now x it's uh, one value no need to, to say that dot uh, power n now run the program again see this is option number four you selected to print the x to the power n please enter x say x is 10 power is 2 the result should be 100 yes good next step step number five or part number five default case for individual or sorry in invalid choice now case one case two case three th these are not the numbers of cases case the choice equal to and the last case should be otherwise otherwise what if it is not one not two not three not four and remember that it is infinite loop uh, so we can print just a message just press uh, display or print it's up to you display display okay uh, wrong wrong input input please try again and let me uh, show you the end of the program see after the switch here is the end of the switch we can print here also display a message it is end the end like this okay now run the program to test the last option this is a seven enter see wrong input please try again and we can say that wrong input please try again and select try again okay wrong input uh, say that like this please try again select uh, select one two uh, four one two four Okay, I run the program to show you the result of my program. Now this is six wrong input. Please try again. Select one to four. And W, I think it's better to keep it capital letter to make it a good message. Um, now also now come back. It needs the program should be infinite loop. You should stop it when user enter minus one. Okay, so now uh, we want to make it infinite loop so i want to repeat all of these cut now here infinite loop you can use for or while i prefer to use while loop I choose uh, something always true like one this is the end of the while loop and all of the previous code should be between line number four and between while and end so control v just now i use the tab to uh, align them together okay uh, this should be inside the while loop belong to while loop okay this belong to this inside the switch the switch this is the inside the case this is inside the case this is belong to the case also i'm sorry uh, this is same belong to the case this is belong to the case this is belong to the case This is like this better. I prefer to align them correctly because it, it will be uh, very easy for anyone to read your program and understand what's happening there. So, and same for the otherwise. And this should be aligned with the case like this tab like this it's okay now okay so all of these inside inside switch statement the end of the switch should be aligned see here warning we have warning now disappeared remove this space no need for this space okay now this is infinite loop if we run the program it will run for infinity it will never stop how we can stop it we can write here a fourth option or let me display control c control v we can write here or or minus one to stop and remove everything now it's okay 
now uh, we read the choice now before running the switch statement we can write if individual if statement this is the end of the if we can write if the choice the choice equal equal to minus one what i will do i'm sorry it should be with aligned with the if this is the condition of the f if the choice equal equal to minus one what i will do break break it will break the inner loop so break placed inside the f f placed inside the while that means if this is if this uh, condition is true break it will take the flow of the program from, from line number 13 to line number 37 directly now let me run the program i will show you now it's a clear message or oh, uh, zero or that's uh, or not zero r okay never mind or see this is uh, nine as example wrong line long wrong nine wrong again okay this is four okay you selected this is two this is three it's okay now minus one and good but let me change where is the o here my mistake it's a mistake this is the o okay thank you so much this is the final solution guys uh, as i told you my advice to you when you read a question don't be afraid that you don't know how to solve it don't think about the message or think about the question from the beginning to the end in one time no try to split it in, in uh, sub targets or sub problems and solve it step by step better than uh, put a barrier between you and the solution when you think that there is too much points here how can i do that how can i do this one i don't know what this flow chart so my advice do it step by step thank you so much see you in next video